Hello everyone, this is Ken with Power Source Electric Unlimited. And today we're going to install a new ceiling fan. The previous video had us taking the ceiling fan down. So I'm going to go over all the parts of the ceiling fan, um, what to install first, all the steps to installing the ceiling fan, making sure that your ceiling fan is installed safely, uh, correctly, no wobbling or fan, and um, it's just going to turn out like a great project. So can't wait to get started. Here we go. Alright, so we've um, I've opened up the box um, taking the parts out uh, just so we can take a look at what the different parts are um, but all different all fans are different you know they're gonna have the variations of the parts are gonna be different they're gonna look a little different but they're all basically the same so first we I'm gonna start off with a fan motor you see the fan motor there the wires coming out of the top that's the part that's gonna be closest to the ceiling um, coming over to this box you're gonna see the fan canopy right here you're going to see the fan mounting bracket right back here. Um, you'll have a couple bags of screws. Some screws will be for mounting the blade to the um, fan. The other screws will be for mounting the blade to the fan blade mounting bracket. You're going to have this um, piece right here and that attaches to the mounting bracket that holds the ceiling fan up. Um, then you're going to have these pieces here which attach the fan blades to the ceiling fan. Um, down here, this is going to be the piece that goes underneath the fan that you can attach the light kit to. Let's look at the bottom. Or if you don't want a light kit, um, you just have it left blank. You know, some fans are good for light kits, some aren't. And uh, this fan, you can uh, add a light kit to it. We're not going to add a light kit to it right now. Uh, we're just going to install the ceiling fan. And um, let's get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my voltage detector. This happens to be a fluke. I'm going to make sure that uh, my voltage detector is working properly. So I'm going to take my finger here, push the on button. And then I'm going to see a little flash. See a little flash there. I know my voltage detector is on. Then I'm going to take it to an outlet that I know is on. And I'm going to test it to make sure my voltage detector is working properly. So let's do that. So now I see that my voltage detector is on. And uh, it's working properly. Now I can test wires with it. All right, now here's my wires. I'd already checked it uh, when I took the ceiling fan down, but I want to show you how I'm testing here. I'm going to take my voltage detector here, and I see that I'm just getting the flash. It's not on steady, so I know that I have no voltage on these wires. I'm going to check this other wire here. Check all my wires. I don't want to have any voltage. No surprises, no shocks. Okay, now I know I can get started. So let's get started putting the mounting bracket up. Now I went ahead and uh, put my mounting bracket up. You can see that the two screw holes there, there's one right here and one over here, connecting it to the box. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and tighten that down. Make sure it's nice and snug. Check my other side. The next thing I like to do is put the uh, mounting bracket, which is this piece here, and uh, mount it to the ceiling fan so um, we're ready to hang the ceiling fan. So let's get started with that. Okay, so you can see they gave us plenty of wire, really long. I'm going to trim some of this back and uh, go ahead and put slide my canopy over and then slide my um, ball joint that holds the fan uh, to the ceiling on. Okay, you can see here that I went ahead and put my canopy on. Let's take a look at the canopy. I went ahead and put it over the wires. And I'm getting ready to slide my um, the ball joint over. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so you can see the ball joint is there. Now I can go ahead and twist it into the ceiling fan. Now you can see this down rod, this piece right here, that's called a down rod. This down rod is threaded into the coupler on top of the fan. I twist it around there. And you'll see there's a hole that's going to line up with the other hole. And then we stick a pin through it and tighten that down. Well, not all ceiling fans are threaded like this. Some ceiling fans are, uh, they just drop in. You stick a um, pin in, and then there's a cotter pin, and that holds it in place. Uh, this fan happens to have the, um, the threaded end. The fan may also have a set screw that is uh, located right here. And uh, that's going to lock that uh, down rod into place. So we're going to tighten that up. Now we can see 
right here. Our down rod's in place, our canopy's in place. We're ready to hang this onto the mounting bracket. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and set it right on top into the mounting bracket. You can see that it's in place there. Um, what you do also is you give a little twist, you'll feel it lock down, and you know that it's seated in the right spot. So you can see it rotate a little bit. It's not gonna come out of there. But there's also a couple of screws, you can see them right here. And that's gonna lock that pin into place and make sure that the ball joint doesn't pop out of that joint. All right, now that we've got our fan hanging from the ceiling, let's back out a little bit and you can see what it looks like now. Okay, there it is, our fan hanging up there, no blades on it or anything, we're not finished with it yet. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the wiring and uh, make our connections. So we take a look at the wires here. You'll notice coming out of the fan, there's gonna be a black, blue, white, and then there'll be a green wire right here. And also one connected to the canopy, which is right there. You see it connected to the canopy? So we want to uh, go ahead and make all of our connections. Now our green wires, both of them tied together, and they're also gonna be tied to this bare wire right here. And that's gonna be our ground. That's gonna protect us. It's gonna make sure that the breaker trips if there's a problem. So that's what we're gonna connect. And then we're gonna connect our white wire, which is right here. And we're gonna connect that to the white wire which is right here, coming out of the ceiling. You can see that right there. Uh, then we'll connect our black wires together. Black wire, right here. And also with our black wire that's coming out of the ceiling, right here. Uh, now we have a red wire coming out of the ceiling here. We're gonna attach that to the blue wire that's coming out of the ceiling fan. And uh, the blue wire is for the light kit. You know, we're not gonna put a light kit on right now, but when we do put the light kit on, it's already connected, and all I have to do is come down to the bottom piece, which is down here, and install my light kit. Um, all I have to do is plug it in, which there's a plug right here, and um, I don't have to go back into the canopy to make that connection, because I've already made it. So let's go ahead and make our wire connections. Okay, so we can see that right now I'm getting ready to connect the green to the uh, bare wire, which is right here. Yeah, I'm gonna use a wire nut. So let's go ahead and put that wire nut on. So I've got the wire nut here, twist it, make sure that it's nice and snug, nice and tight. And I know that I have a good connection here on my, with my ground. I'm gonna do that to each one of the wires and we'll take a look at it. Okay, now you notice I have them all tied together. I have my blue to my red, my black to my black, white to the white, and all my greens connected. So if you want to know more about wire nuts, I have a video um, called Wire Nuts. You can uh, learn about wire nuts, how to make the connection. Uh, but we went ahead and twisted them down. I'm ready for this canopy to go up and we can get started on our next step. All right, we got the canopy up. You can see right here where the little set screws were. Go ahead and tie that up. Nice and snug. Not too many big cracks around the ceiling. There's gonna be some deviation just because of the knockdown or texture of the ceiling. But uh, it's nice and snug to the ceiling. So let's get started with um, installing some fan blades. But uh, first thing I want you to take a look at, we're gonna come down to the bottom of the fan. And you're gonna notice these rubber things right here. They're right there. Um, we're gonna take those out. And what they do is they stop the motor from turning um, before you install it. So they're just little rubber stoppers. You wanna save those screws uh, that go to the rubber stoppers because you're gonna need them for the fan blades. But we're gonna take those rubber stoppers out. And most fans have those. And let's go ahead and take a look at how to take those rubber stoppers out. Now you're gonna notice this top piece is bigger. You can't really reach it with a screwdriver coming around the side like this. So if I were to come around here, I can't really unscrew it. They've left an access hole right here. And you stick your screwdriver up through. And that is how you reach the screws up onto the motor blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this piece, take the rubber stopper out, and get ready for the fan blade. All right, so first we have to put the um, ceiling fan mounting bracket onto the ceiling fan blade. First thing you're gonna do is choose what side of the blade you want facing down, which is uh, the part you're gonna see. Most blades have two different colors. This one is white. On the other side, it has a, um, it has like a whitewashed uh, type, of, type of oak look. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the white side. That's the side that I want to have. 
and my mounting bracket is going to have two parts. Now, not all fans have two part mounting brackets, they're usually one part, but um, you'll get the idea. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick the, um, the first piece, which is right here. And this is the part that I'm going to see. I can look at the bottom here, I see how my screws are going to line up. I go ahead and place it in place, it'll, it'll kind of snap down, seat itself. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at what it looks like here on the fan. There it is. Uh, on the back side, I'm going to put my other piece that connects it. So let's take a look at that. And that'll be this piece right here. And it'll go right over the holes. Then I put my screw through, attach the two pieces, and let me show you what that looks like. So here it is. I went ahead and attached it. So that's what the blade is going to look like facing down. It's going to have that little decorative piece on the other side. I went ahead and just attached one screw, but you see how it went through from here to here, made the mount. I'm going to go ahead and put in the other three screws, and that's going to attach my blade to my bracket. This far end which I'm going to go ahead and show you here, is the piece that connects to the fan. And we'll take a look at that in a few minutes. All right, so we're getting ready to go ahead and mount these fan blades. You can see right here, I've got one up here. I uh, went ahead and mounted it. And I'm going to show you how um, those screws go on, show you how the blade goes in. So let me go ahead and grab a blade. And you're going to see I'm going to give it a little tilt up. I'm going to bring it around. And then my screw holes line right up. Then I go ahead and mount my mounting screws to it. This is what the uh, mounting screw looked like. They're, um, they're all pretty much the same. You'll see it's a little bit fatter on the head there. Uh, a little bit thicker screw. That's going to mount the uh, fan blade to the actual um, piece of the fan. All right. And you can see right there, that's that little square. I come back here. You can see the bottom of the fan come up here and you can see where they left you an opening to attach the screw uh, to the mounting bracket which is right here and that bolts it to the fan and you can see how that motor turns a little bit right there and that's how you attach it to the fan all right we got all of our fan blades attached to our fan and the last step we have is to put on that cover plate on the bottom which you could attach a um, light kit to and um, I'm not going to do that right now. We'll have a different video on attaching a light kit. But this is just going to finish off our fan. Okay, you can see right where it snaps together. That's from the fan to the housing. Here's our housing right here for our light kit or our bottom cover that has our switch. But these are all the control wires right here. They snap together. Notice that the colors all line up. And it'll really only snap together one way, so you can't really mess that up. But uh, that's what that looks like. All right, we got our bottom plate up. Last step is to put on our little pull chain thing right here. We're gonna put that on, and then we're gonna call this fan done. We'll take a look at it. All right, there it is. Our fan is up and working. Took no time, about a little bit less than an hour to put a fan ceiling fan up. But uh, it's a great project. Um, it can definitely add to the room, uh, update the room, and notice there's no wobble to it or anything. The fan's just running fine. But uh, thanks for coming out to PowerSourceTutorials.com. Thanks for checking out this video. Um, if it was helpful, please subscribe to me, like me. Um, get in contact with me if you have any questions. Uh, drop me a note. I'm happy to answer them for you. Again, thanks for coming out and checking out our video.